Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can set up MUT and NeoMUT to with Gmail. Now, the way I do this is not the traditional way because the traditional way would be getting into the MUT configuration file and setting up all the things manually by hand, entering the different email things that you need to enter into the configuration file in order to get it to work and that's just oh that's just so much work and no I'm I did that once don't need to do it again now for those of you in the know you'll know that Luke Smith is a youtuber I guess you'd call him a fellow youtuber now because I'm actually I'm a youtuber now I mean, kinda which I mean blowing my mind <laughs> anyways um he has a script that he wrote called Mutt Wizard, and that's what we're going to use today. It's very, very simple to set up. Now, I'm going to sp be specifically setting this up on Arch, or on an Arch-based distro. Your mileage may vary on other distributions, mostly in terms of package availability. I'm not sure the dependencies on Ubuntu and, you know, whatever are going to be there, so you'll have to look them up. You may end up having to build some yourself. I'm not sure. I've never done this on Ubuntu, so this is just the way it's going to be. So let's jump into a terminal. Now, first off, you'll have to forgive me. I'm still looking at the wrong camera. That's just the way things tend to happen. <laughs> when you have two cameras, you got to learn to remember to look at the right camera. Anyways, um, what I was going to say is that I have this zoomed in now. If I end up having to go into a different terminal, and I don't zoom in, it's because the key bindings for zooming in are different on ST. I've switched away from ter Termite for a little while for reasons. I mean, not good reasons, but reasons. Uh, so that's just something you have to put up with. First, we need to install the Mutt Wizard. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my Git Things repository on my computer. You can Git clone Mutt Wizard anywhere you want to. I always do everything in downloads get to things and this just has everything that I've downloaded from get over time some of them are mine some of them are other people's it just gives me one place to get clone things so that I don't have them all over the place willy-nilly so and all the instructions I'm walking through will be in a link in the video description below that way you can you know follow along via text if that helps you at all so I'm going to copy and paste from the git repository that I need this this command here git clone and then this address and then I'm just going to hit enter. That sh it shouldn't take too very long. And it's done. So I'm going to cd into mutt wizard and then I'm going to do sudo make install and enter a password and that made just fine. Um you really shouldn't have any problems here because you're not running anything. Now, if you ran Mutt Wizard right now, you'd have some problems because you don't have all the dependencies. So there's going to be some dependencies here that you're going to need. So we're going to install some stuff. So sudo, at first, let's clear this out so you can actually see. sudo pacman dash s. Now, if you're on Ubuntu, obviously this is going to be a little bit different. You'll need to use apt. Some of these packages may or may not be available. I don't know. So we'll need NeoMutt, obviously. That's the main program. We'll need curl. Some of these I may actually already have. I don't know. We'll need iSync. And we'll need msmtp. We'll need pass. We'll need pam-gnupg. We'll need not much. We'll need a book, and there's a couple more. We'll need URL view. Yeah, that one might be in the AUR. Yeah, we might in V I E W. Yep, that one's gonna be in the AUR. So we'll have to install that separately. Crony, C O. C R O N I E. I'm actually not going to install that one because I already have cron installed. I don't need it again. So mpop is something. That, all right. So you may also need mpop. 
I'm not going to install that because I don't actually need it because I'm going to be using IMAP. If you're using a POP-based email service like Popmail or something, uh, you would need MPOP. I do not need that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, okay, so Pam and this one here must be in the AUR. Yep, not here. Okay. Well, yep, all right, now we can go. There's a couple here that we'll have to use, install using yay. So we'll do yay dash s p a uh, p a m dash g n u. Yep, there we go. And the other one I forgot was uh, URL view. While that's installing. So the ones that I've installed, let me go through and explain. Um, Neoma obviously is the actual program that's going to be going to be displaying your email. Curl just downloads the things uh, and and helps with searching. I sync uh, it downloads and syncs the email requiring it's required for IMAP. Um, MSMTP sends email. The PAM GNU PG which I just installed through Yay uh, saves your GPG key, which we'll work through here in just a second. Um, not much indexes and searches the mail. A book is the address book. URL view allows you to output URLs uh, and click on them easily. Uh, and um, I think I didn't install links for the HTML stuff. LYNX, if you want to be able to view HTML email, that's uh, something you could install. I don't usually install it. Now, let's clear this out. We got everything. If we let's cd back in my home directory, if we want to run this right now, we probably are going to get some errors. In fact, I know we will because you have to set up your GPG stuff, and you have to set up your uh, your passwords and stuff in order to do to get this up and running. So what we're going to do is just run Mutt Wizard like this, and that's going to give you some options. Okay, so what I want to do actually is do mutt wizard dash a mtwb47 at gmail.com. I don't care if you have my email address, go ahead and email me. I don't care. Uh, and hit enter. Now, first run is so it's going to tell you some things that you actually have to do. First run pass in it, then your GPG email. Um, and you know, actually not, don't have a GPG email key yet. So you have to do that. If you don't, it says if you don't already have a GPG key pair, first run GPG, and then this thing here. So I'm going to actually highlight that so you can actually see it. So I'm going to type in this GPG dash dash full dash generate key, and you got to actually make sure, unlike me, you actually spell this right. Okay, and then. Most of these are going to be just downright default. So you're going to just want to do one. Okay. And what size key do you want? Uh, 30, 3072 is perfectly fine. Um, we want zero here so it doesn't expire. Otherwise, you'll have to go through and do this again. And then hit Y and your real name and your email address. And then just a comment. That's GPG key. All right. And we're going to hit O. And then it's going to ask you for your password phrase. This is obviously not something that I'm going to um, show you. Now, th that process might take you a little while, depending on the. Um, strength of your computer, the, the specs of your computer, because it's actually using CPU power to generate some encryption stuff, and that takes a little while. Now, I have a fast computer, so that didn't take very long at all. Now that you've done that, you can run your MW-A. This again, you're going to get another error. So we're going to have to do this. Pass, init, and then the GPG email key that we just set up. Okay and then hit enter and that that will just 
output that it created a directory and then we initialized for this certain email address okay and now if we go through and do this again it's going to ask us for a password for gmail now this is where gmail differs from other email addresses this is only going to work if you have two-factor authentication turned on okay if you don't you won't be able to do it because you have to be able to generate an app specific password and you can only do that through two-factor authentication this is mostly a security feature on gmail's part so if you don't have second factor authentication on i'm not exactly sure what to tell you you can try just using your regular password here i don't think it would work i think you're going to end up getting a google email uh, saying somebody nefarious has tried to access your account we've blocked it automatically so you'll want to turn on second factor authentication which you should have on anyways because it's the right thing to do but um and then generate a secure password i'm not going to walk you through how to do that there are plenty of tutorials online uh, um that you can find to do that i'm going to go get mine now and set this up Once you've entered your password, you'll be asked to enter your password in like a pop-up box, which I'm actually have cut out here you know, so that you don't see my GPG key because it actually does show it. Um, <laughs> but it'll just be like a, a pop-up box and you, you can hit save and password manager after you've entered your passphrase and then just hit OK. Once you've done that, you'll want to go through and technically you'll, you're done here. You, um, the next thing you want to do is sync your email to your computer. The best way to do that is by running mw dash uh, small y and then your email address. Now, if you have mul obviously if you have more than one email address that you've set up, you want to do capital Y and that will sync everything that you've set up. So I'm just going to enter. This is going to take a bit. Um, the more email you have in your your inbox, the longer this is going to take. Okay, that took about five minutes for me or so. Like I said, the more mail you have in your Gmail account, the longer this is going to take. So now, once you've done all of that, you can actually go through and start Neomut. So just do type in Neo Mutt and bada bam bada boom you have your email that's how you do it now I'm not gonna go th actually you want to I will go through I'll go through a few of these of the key bindings you need so moving up and down in the mail your in your inbox you use them keys so J and K go up and down H and L H and L will go back and forth Okay, so L would enter an email, H goes back to the, the the inbox. Now, if you want to move up and down the sidebar here, I believe you use, use control J and K. Yeah, as you can see, that moves there. And if you want to open this, you hit, you'd hit, uh, I think command, uh, yeah, you do control O, okay? I believe. Oops. Yeah, because O syncs your inboxes. If you yeah, if you want to sync manually, you hit, always hit O. Um, you can. There's also a um, way to toggle uh, automatic syncing. You can look that up on the GitHub page that I you know showed here. It, it's very easy. It's just MW dash capital T, and it'll do it fine. And that'll, do, that'll make your mail synchronized every 10 minutes. So we just go up here. And where's inbox here? Control O. Yeah. There we go. And we're back to the inbox. Um, if you need ever need any help, you just hit the, the um, question mark. And it will show you all the key bindings that you need in order to move and navigate around. And then if you just want to quit, just hit Q. That's literally how you use Neomut. Now, if you wanted to add another email account, you just do mw-a and then the email address you want to add, and it's the same process. 
but you don't have to go through and do obviously download any of those dependencies because you've already done that. All right. That is how you use Mutt Wizard to set up a Gmail account and use NeoMutt with Gmail. It's very easy. Uh, the hardest part is going to be getting all those dependencies installed. Uh, now I noticed that I know that there's a few spots in this video that are blacked out, and that's just because I didn't want my uh, information out there on the internet so you could get to my P PGP key. I mean, that just would be silly to put that out there. But for the most part, you should have been able to follow along. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I should be able to answer them. With that, all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the social. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like. To, please follow us at twitter.com slash linuxcast or facebook.com slash linuxcast. You can also support us by going to patreon.com slash linuxcast. And with that thought, please say thanks to Devon C and Marcus B for being our patrons. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.